The Construct Circular Fillet and the Construct Parabolic Fillet tools can be used to construct a circular or a parabolic fillet between two element or segments. To construct a chamfer between two lines or adjacent segments of a line, string, or shape, you use the Construct Chamfer tool. In this lesson you will learn Construct Circular Fillet and Construct Chamfer. Continuing in learning.dgn, Open the fillet and chamfer model. In this first exercise, we'll be applying fillets to the inner webbing of an I-beam. But first, we need to match the color of the elements that make up the I-beam. Holding down the Alt key, click on any of the green lines that make up the I-beam. The active attribute values change to match the green color of the target elements. To construct the fillets, select Construct Circular Fillet from the Modify group on the Home tab. In the Tool Settings window, set the radius to 7.5 and set Truncate to both. This modifies both elements when you create the fillet. Select the lower right horizontal member, then the vertical member that makes up the webbing of the I-beam. Our first fillet appears. Note how the lines are modified to be tangent to the endpoints of the fillet. We continue doing this for the remaining three fillets. Next up, we'll be adding several fillets between the various elements of the red design. What makes this one tricky is not all of the fillets are truncating the lines like they did in the previous exercise. You must pay close attention to the source design to work out what truncate options you need to use and where. Holding down the Alt key and clicking on one of the red elements sets the active attributes to match it. Set the radius and the tool settings to 5. To begin, let's deal with the fillets that need to truncate both lines or arcs. Confirm the truncate option is set to both. Start with the two arcs at the top. Select each one near their intersection to put in a fillet tangent to both arcs. Select the two outside lines on the right side and bottom. The fillet brings the two lines together. With the fillets that require modification to both elements complete, the next item of business is to take care of the vertical line in the bottom middle of the design. This requires the truncate option to be set to first. Select the bottom of the vertical line followed by the bottom horizontal line. Note how the vertical line is modified but the bottom one is not. Only the first element is modified. Do this again to the top of the vertical line. The final bit of business is to put in the remaining fillets using the truncate none option. Working counter or anti-clockwise from the right hand side of the design, we put in the remaining fillets. There are seven fillets in all that must be placed. In this final exercise, we'll place a chamfer between the two orange lines. As before, using the Alt key, click on one of the elements to set the active attributes to match the elements of this exercise. Select Construct Chamfer from the ribbon bar. In the Tool Settings window, set the Distance 1 value to 20 and the Distance 2 value to 12. Note that the distance 1 is applied to the first line selected and the distance 2 is applied to the second line selected. Select the horizontal line followed by the vertical line. 
the chamfer appears as expected. Close learning.dgn. In this lesson, you learned about the Construct Circular Fillet and the Construct Chamfer tools. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.